how are you doing today? Time for a taste test and a comparison between tin tomato wine and passata wine. I've been meaning to review these two wines for a while. They've been clearing in the shipping container. They are looking brilliant. Same because someone online mentioned to me yesterday they haven't seen the taste test for it. It dropped my memory and I thought, I'll do that. To be honest, they could do with another six months maturing. Tomato wine is notoriously slow at maturing. It's a slow starter in its career of taste, flavour, bombarding the taste buds of excitement. So they can only improve over the next six months to a year. You're in for a treat when you make these wines. So I have two bottles, two glasses, and I'm going to do a taste test comparison between the two. I have one passata and one tin tomato. Both using the same quantities of tomatoes or passata and the same amount of sugar, made exactly the same way on the same day and left to mature and they'll be drunk now one after the other. So hopefully they're going to be two cracking wines and I can try and choose which one I prefer. Either the passata and the yellow top or the tin tomato and the cream top bottle. The colour on both are amazing. The passata is slightly more golden, slightly more straw coloured than the tin tomato which has more of a reddish hue to it. But both are looking really good, really tasty, really clear, bright, no ropiness on it. They are looking sparkly clear. So I'm going to pour two glasses, one of each, and we'll see them side by side now. As you can see, there isn't much of a difference between the Passata and the Tin Tomato wine. They are both bright golden straw. And aroma-wise, you get fruity initially. And aroma-wise, both hit your nose with fruit, followed by hints of chocolate. Anyway, Passata wine first. Look at the colour of that Passata wine. It's so bright and vivid. Anyway, taste test. That is really, really very pleasant. Not tomato-like, slightly tomato-like. It has the... You get tomato with chocolate and fruit all mixed in with freshly mowed meadows, hay bales with it. But it really is refreshing. Absolutely delicious. You would not think this is made from Passata, El Cheapo in the box tomato puree. This is something else. And as for the tin tomato, well, let's try. Again, the colour is bright, vivid, straw-like, golden. Not at all tomato, orangey red colour. It's, 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 it's it would pass for any other white wine on the market out there. Anyway, let's give it a try. I'm getting slightly less front notes with it. The tin tomato hits those back notes a lot more than the passata does. The passata is there first and foremost. The tin tomato takes its time to come to the tongue and those flavours then jump out at you. It's going to be a hard call for me to choose which one I prefer. Which one's cheaper? Mm. Good point. Price-wise, considering they both had the same amount of sugar, I would say that the tin tomato works out cheaper than the passata. So if price is an issue for you, I would say go for the tinned tomato. 
Colour wise, I prefer the Passata. Flavour wise, I'm going to need a few more mouthfuls and glasses first before I call. So I'm going to pass them over to my wife. She'll have a sample and she'll tell me what she thinks. To be honest, the only thing that puts me off is knowing this is tomato. If not nice, nice, as in like I would want a glass because I still know it's tomato. <laughs> but it's nice. So I think overall winner for me, based on colour, aroma, price, flavour, is the tin tomato wine. Which, if you want to watch, here it comes right now. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. Have fun. Tin tomato wine. Can it be made? Is it a thing? Have you tried it before? If so, let me know, because I haven't heard of anyone making it before. We are breaking new territory here tinned tomato wine. I'm going to fly through this recipe ever so quickly because this is just the same recipe as the Passato wine and the link to that recipe is up by here so have a look. The only difference I'm making from Passato wine is using four tins of chopped tomatoes, a tablespoon of dried basil and some high alcohol yeast as chosen by my son. So, I'm going to fly through this, it's going to be in under two minutes, so I hope you enjoy. If you want more information about the recipe, go and watch the Passata tomato wine recipe up by here. It's worth watching, it'll give you a lot more detail and information. But this is just to say, you can make tinned tomato wine. I'll be doing a taste test and comparison between the two, Passata and tinned tomato wine, when they're both ready. So come on then, let's start with it. tomato wine. It can be done. Simple recipe. Give it a try. The full recipe in more detail is up by here in the link with my tomato passata wine. Give it a go and tell me down below in the comments what do you think. You don't to try it? Have you tried it? Do you like it? And I'll see you again soon. Cheers. wine. Wine made from passata. Tomato wine. I love tomato wine I do made from fresh tomatoes every time. It's fantastic. However up here in Edy we don't have a greenhouse so I can't really grow my own tomatoes just yet. It's a work in progress. Hopefully in a few years time might be able to. So I've been trying to find a decent alternative to fresh tomato wine and I think I've nailed it. I think I've found the perfect alternative to fresh tomatoes in winemaking. Tomato wine is the type of wine that really does not taste like the raw ingredients. Tomato wine is not tomato-ish. It very much loses a load of the tomato flavour and instead mellows out into quite a unique flavour. Something I can't quite describe. But I will be doing a taste test and try and describe it better 
in another video. The wine made from Passata. Will it work? Come on, let's make it and find out. What we're using is four 500 gram tubs of Passata. So that's two litres worth of tomato Passata. You can use tinned tomatoes. That's going to be a different recipe and I want to do a taste test comparison between the tinned tomatoes and Passata. So onwards. This really is such a simple recipe. It's one of those that you can make from your store cupboard ingredients. If you just fancy making a, a jar or two of wine, it's been a while since you made a jar of wine and you fancy making one. Like I'm doing now. Awesome. Right then, first thing you need to do is open up your tubs, cartons of Passata. Fantastic. Come on then, onwards. <laughs> you really want to do after you've opened up your passata is pour it into your demijohn. As easy as that. If you can try not to waste any by opening up the cartons and it goes all over the place even better. It's hard for some people, it's hard for me, but you have to give these things a go don't you? Right then, on with putting your passata into your demijohn. <laughs> Four 500 gram cartons. Two litres if you buy a big batch of it. Or make your own. Homemade passata is brilliant, so get that a go. Awesome. Anyway, pour all four in. Fantastic. And once you're done, add in all four of the cartons, give them a rinse under the tap, and add that water as well. Get as much of that tomato be flavour as you can. Waste well, not, what well, not. Awesome. With your two kilograms of passata added, you want to add some sugar. So I'm going to be dissolving a kilo and a half of granulated sugar, yay, into boiling water and add it. Because I rinsed out the tubs of passata, I have about a litre and a bit's worth of room left in the top of my demijohn. So I'm going to add sugar. A kilo and a half of sugar to a litre of water. Dissolve it well and then add it. So come on, that's the next step. You ready boy? Let's do this. Fantastic. Then we're going to pour the sugar into your saucepan. And pour over your boiling water. About a litre's worth I'm using. Pour it over, pour it over. It's hot. Pour the water. And give it a really good stir and dissolve all of that sugar. Come stir. Something else to add at this stage is some petzlase. It helps the tomato to break down properly and not leave a haze in your wine, so add a teaspoon of petzlase to your wine. Fantastic. And once it's all dissolved, your sugar, you want to pour that litre or so of water straight into your demijohn. Easy, fantastic, awesome stuff. And then my final, final thing I'm going to do to this wine to make it extra awesome is add some dried basil. Basil and tomato is a classic combination. The flavours work really well, and especially so in tomato wines. The tomato loses that tomatoey flavour and becomes something so unique, different, totally transformation. With a total with a total transformation, but the basil is fantastic. Because it carries that flavour through and adds that identifiable flavour. It's like, oh, this is basil and something. But what is it? I don't know. So the basil is great at adding that recognisable flavour. Isn't it? So we need to give a good shake of the dried basil into the wine. Should we do that, boy? Oh, yes. To the wine. Measurement-wise, I'm adding about a tablespoon. But I don't tend to do measurements that well, so a really good shake. Shake it in, shake it in, shake it in. Brilliant. Right then. Next thing, give it a good stir. Or a really good shake. 
just a job. Anyway, now it's time to add the yeast. I'm going to be using a sachet of Cross My Loof instant yeast, dried yeast. But what variety, what type? They have so many options on the website. I'll put a link to some of the yeasts down below. I love their products, I do. It's what I always use, apart from generic basic yeast if I'm doing a simple wine. But they have so many varieties, so many to choose from, I do not know which I'm going to be choosing. To be honest with you, I don't think it really matters what type of yeast you use for tomato wine. I've tried a few different ones and I have noticed a big change in flavour or style of the wine. So, my helper here is going to choose one for me. Choose. Which one do you want to use? Good choice. It's a high alcohol yeast. Should work well. So now just pour the sachet in to the liquid. And there we have it. Yeast added, ingredients added, sugar, water, passata. All we need to do now is fit an airlock, let it stand, then rack it off occasionally, and hopefully in a few months I'll do a taste test and maybe a comparison between the tin tomato wine which I'm about to make, and the Passato wine. If you want to check out the tin tomato wine recipe, I'll insert the link to it up by here, yeah. and the taste test will be done soon. Have fun now.